Hi guys, and welcome to Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. Today, I'm not reviewing a celebrity fragrance, but I'm actually doing a collection of fragrances, which is new on the market, and it is the Love to Love Collection, which is um, Cody's new signature line of perfumes that they are putting out. And the cool thing about these perfumes, it is four perfumes, each um, is based around two main dominant notes in the fragrance, but they are made for... They're made to smell or higher end at a discounted or a department store price. So basically, instead of you going and buying a bottle of Chanel or something that's more expensive, you can go to Walmart or wherever carries these fragrances and get each one of these. They're like ten dollars a bottle, and they're you know it's a pretty good price for what you get. So I'm actually going to review all four in order um, of what they are. So the first one we're going to review is the Love to Love Fresh Rose and Peach. This, these are all ED Toilettes, um, 100 ml, 3.4 ounces, and you get a full size bottle for, it's like $9.99 at Walmart. I'm not too sure where else is currently carrying these. But these are the bottles, and they're really cool bottles. I kind of like this little lip up here that looks almost like a leaf or a flower petal. And it comes off and is hollow. And they're all the same, and they're not like tinted or anything, they're just clear. And then you have the fragrance. So, and the cool thing about these also is on top of the box, they are, they have these little rub to experience things, and you can like rub it and smell kind of what it is. This one is, um, um, each one has its own like little tagline kind of, and this one is French Rose and Peach um, to create a fragrance of lasting happiness. And this one has top notes of peach nectar, lychee, and fresh cases buds with middle notes of gardenium, bulgari rose, and the base notes are Musk and Osiris, or Osiris, or Oris, or whatever you want to call it. I call it Osiris root. And so this one is more of like, like the thing said, this is the happier one out of all of them. And when you first, first spray it, the rose is a very dominant note in this fragrance. So you do smell the, the rose straight away, but you do get that peach, and you do get the lychee. The casus isn't really there, but... It immediately kind of dries down, and you smell the gardenium and the bulgari rose. And that bulgari rose, like I said, is the most dominant note in this fragrance. And then it kind of dries, and has um, like a woody rose scent to it, which I think is very nice. It's very, very light. All these are very light fragrances. And they're all a little more mature than a lot of the things I do. A lot of the scents I do are younger, in like the teens, 20s range. This would be a little bit of an older kind of scent. But this one is a very nice fragrance, and I do like this one a lot. The next one is um, this one, and it is the green box. And it is the um, Love to Love Jasmine and Sparkling Mimoso. And this is to create a fragrance of pure joy. This fragrance has um, dewy peony, raspberry, and sparkling mimosa with mid notes of honeysuckle, jasmine, and sweet pea, and joins the base of rosewood and delicate almond blossom. And I actually haven't really picked a favorite out of all of these quite yet. This one is the most fresh out of all of them. When you first spray it, you have that mimosa, which kind of gives it a little bit of an alcoholy, not like an alcoholy perfume scent, but kind of an alcoholy scent, which is really nice. And you can smell a lot of the raspberry, you can smell a lot of the peony, the sweet pea is really nice in this fragrance, and the jasmine. I mean, like, like this one where the rose was the main dominant note, and this one, you have a lot of jasmine, which brings a nice airiness to it, which is really, really nice. 
But I think the mid of it is very jasmine and kind of honeysuckle is because it's very light and floral and sweet. And that like the 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 sweet pea and the raspberry kind of come together in the base to make it a little more sweeter. And as it kind of dries down, you get like a that that almond blossoms nice and it kind of complements the jasmine because the jasmine kind of brings itself all the way through the scent and makes it smell very very nice. I really do like this one. This so far might actually be my favorite. The next one is this one. It is the purple box and it is violet petals and freesia. This one is um, she created a fragrance of elegant sens sensuality, sens sensuality, I butcher words, there's, there you go, um, this one is peach blossom, lily petals, and lavender bloom with heart notes of freesia, rose, and violet blossom with the base notes of sheer musk, heliotrope, cedarwood, So this one, I'm trying to keep my notes straight on here for it. This is probably the heaviest out of the uh, four. And this one has the freesia, so it keeps it very light and airy, but the violet makes it heavy, if that makes sense. I, I don't know if that does or not. But it's very nice because it's very clean and it's very elegant and it's very sheer. But it's still kind of like the dominant one out of all of these, I think. Because they're all, like I said, they're very, very light. So none of these are like extremely dominant and heavy like Killer Queen or Midnight Fantasy or anything like that. These are all very, very light fragrances and they're all made for different times of spring. So this one, I think, has a lot of that violet, um... The peony kind of brings itself. This one reminds me of like my grandma's garden, which I like. This one I like because it reminds me of my grandmother's garden. But this one almost seems like it doesn't change a whole lot. And it's, I like it because the first spray, it kind of keeps itself, I mean, it, it lightens up a little bit as it goes through. But I think all the florals just mix very, very well in this one. So if you like floral fragrances, you would like this one. And the final one in the line is the orange one, and it is Orange Blossom and White Musk, and this one is to create a fragrance of indulgent pleasure. So this one has, um, Bergamot Juicy Orange Notes, um, Orange Blossom Soft Peony around the heart, and the base of Osiris, or Osiris, White Musk, and Sandalwood. So this one, my pump doesn't want to work. Okay, there we go. It's very, very orange. Like, it's perfect with the color, because this one is a very orangey, citrusy kind of scent. That's very, it's very orangey and floral when it first opens. But as it dries, it becomes really light and it creates itself like a florally light scent which like the peony and the orange blossom and the musk are all really really light scents but as it kind of dries and we get into the base of this one you do have a lot of um the sandalwoody so it's a kind of an orangey floral sandalwood scent, which I think this one would be perfect for just like out going during the day, whatever you want to do with this one. This one's kind of that go-to light scent just to kind of throw. So like I said with these, they are all very nice fragrances. They're all very well constructed. They're not something you would normally pick up for $10 at, you know, Walmart or something. These are something that are very high-end smelling. They all are created by a different um, perfumer, and all, each one is done by one of the, like, they're all done by top perfumers that do a lot of, like, the Chanel's and the Dolce Cabana and stuff like that. 
but these do last quite a long time for um, being EDTs. I've worn all of them just to kind of get their lasting power in. On, on me, they all last a good five to six hours, but the, the Violet and Freesia one lasts probably the longest. Um, if you don't really like floral scents, but you do like sweeter scents, I would pick these up. I mean, they're $10 a piece. You can't go wrong. And they're perfect for layering. I mean, they smell good on their own. But they're, like I said, they're very light springtime scents. But you could easily mix it with something else if you don't like a floral scent. In my mind, what you could do is you could take these, spray them on yourself, and go get yourself uh, some Bath & Body Works stuff. And just kind of spray yourself with a little Bath and Body Works and then it kind of makes it not as floral. But I think these are kind of a good please all for a floral. Um, they're not like your celebrity scents where they're going to please everyone because they're that sweet kind of scent. But I think these are kind of a very well done floral scent. Each one is completely different from the next. They None of them smell similar. You just kind of have to go smell them all. I mean... They're nine. They're nine ninety nine, ten dollars for the full size bottle, and then they're they have like a ten ounce. I want to say it's a ten ounce, maybe it's a six ounce body mist you can get with these, which I like the body mist because they're great to spray in your hair or when you first get out of the shower, whatever. But like I said, go try these out, guys. They're really really nice fragrances. They're really well constructed for the price range. I mean, this would be something when you smell it, somebody's gonna think you're wearing something that's gonna cost in the, like the upwards of the 90s, 80, 90, and $100 range because these are very well constructed fragrances. Like always guys, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, A the S Perfume. Link is in the description below. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment below. Um, I'm gonna, not too sure when my next review is. I'm kind of just balancing out when I'm not working to do reviews. I wanted to get this one reviewed and get it to you guys as soon as I could because I was very happy about these. And I'm going to keep you guys posted. Who knows? Maybe a new fragrance will be coming soon. Maybe an unboxing video. I can't tell you guys. You guys will just have to stay tuned to the channel and find out. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye.